Hi everyone, it's James here from TSR Jivey Talks Tech. Now I don't care where you are on your audio journey, you could be a day one, week one newbie, or a seasoned pro. One of the things we all agree on is that dynamics processing, be it compression, limiting, or expansion, is kind of tough to get your head around. And it's one of the last things that you learn how to hear as an audio professional. I mean, I still find it easier to dial in a hardware compressor over a plugin. It's like there's a link between the tactile turning of the knobs and the audio outcome. However, Fairplay Audio might have just changed that for me with their new, well, new-ish, version two of their dynamic grading plugin. So let's dive in and take a look. This is Dynamic Grading 2.0, a from the ground up rethink of Dynamics Processing. Dynamic Grading is essentially three Dynamics processors in one, body, punch, and floor. Now, don't think of these in terms of frequency ranges. Punch is not just about top end. Think of these as portions of the dynamic range of your track. It could be a full mix, a drum bus, or a solo instrument or vocal. However, it is easy to hear what dynamic grading can do on the drums. So we have it here on a drum bus. Think of the punch range as a kind of transient shaper. This allows us to make the track more present or allows us to add distance and push the track back in a mix. Body is where the meat and potatoes of the processing happens. Here we're working on the core, or yes, you've guessed it, the body of the sound without affecting the transients or punch. Floor allows you to clean out the track. Sweep the floor if you like. Want to get rid of that noise clutter? Use the floor range. However, if you use compression in this range, we can bring out the reverb or the ambience of the track and make the most of the space in the recording. The GUI is divided into three main sections, the source or incoming signal, the processing bar where we can set the compression or expansion for each of the ranges, punch, body or floor, and we can set the input gain. We then have the target or output. A great place to start is to set the ranges for the processing using the source learn button down here. On the far right, we have the spectrum control, allowing us to fine tune the sidechain input and focus the output tonality of the processor. We also have the more traditional time-based controls like response and release. We then have channel link, which I'll come to shortly, and the wet dry blend, which in this case is called a mount. So let's dive in and get to work on this drum bus.
much more natural and I like the the inherent reverb in the sound. I like that. As I said before, dynamic grading works perfectly well on instruments, so let's use it on this piano part to even things out and add a bit more power and drive to the track. Somehow, I doubt you could have missed that I'm now offering my clients their projects mixed in Dolby Atmos. Why do I mention this? Well, I'm very pleased to say that Dynamic Grading 2 supports immersive formats like Dolby Atmos, all the way up to 9.1.6, much like this session here. So I can use an instance of Dynamic Grading 2 on what is effectively the master channel of this session, and use it a bit like my mastering Dynamics processor, like this. When I was at university, one of the tutors, a chap called Kendall Wrightson, taught us dynamics processing using a drama rack mount compressor and what he called the water pipe analogy. The theory being that water moving from a big pipe via a funnel, the compressor, into a smaller pipe would be controlled but given more energy. And the first time I looked at the dynamic grading GUI, that's what I was reminded of. And if you think of it like that, it makes a lot of sense. Faster flowing water is equivalent to audio with more energy, which is one of the main reasons we use dynamic processing. It's one of the byproducts of controlling dynamic range. I love the built-in histogram view in the plugin. It takes the guesswork out of where the dynamics might need taming, which is, if you're new to mixing, really gonna help you out. And if you're more experienced, it's just gonna speed you up, which is great. If you're looking for a neutral sounding dynamics processor, then Dynamic Grading 2.0 is the answer. It's got everything you need to tame, control and shape your recordings. If you're looking for that character processor that imparts its signature tone into your track or your whatever you're recording, then I think it's fair to say dynamic grading is not it. But dynamic grading does tick an awful lot of processing boxes and it's easy to use, it sounds great and it's fully multi-channel compatible. What's not to love? So I really hope you enjoyed that. I'll leave links to the dynamic grading site down there in the notes. Also, if you do like this sort of thing, please do hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell 
to be kept in the JTT loop. But for now, my name's James Ivey from TSR, Jivey Talks Tech, and I'll see you again very soon.